Hi, Taylor. How are you? I'm well, thank you. Good. So I'll just say, you know, I'm in England, so it's quite dark, hence the lack of natural light at the moment. I'm not just sat in my basement. Um, I'm going to begin because uh, I love the movie. I just wanted to ask you uh, sort of first just what it was that attracted you to, to this project and to this character. Yeah, well, I when I read it, I was um, really intrigued by uh, the story being centered around schizophrenia um, for a young adult. And um, and that was the huge initial draw for me. And then, you know, obviously character wise, I, I thought Maya was, um, you know, very um, just fiercely uh, loving and and had very strong convictions. And I felt that that would be a different avenue for me to explore. And I, I wanted to be a part of that. Mm. How was it sort of getting back into the mindset of uh, being a student again and sort of playing a character back at school? Was that, did that sort of, were, were there parts of it or shades of it that was quite nostalgic in some ways to kind of get yourself back into that, into that headspace? Yeah, I think nostalgic is the right word. Um, you know, now, sometimes I feel like it's difficult and then other times I feel that so many of the teenagers that I know now, my, my little brother who's 17, um, seeing all of his friends and just other young people I know, they're so evolved and so smart and so worldly. They feel so adult to me in so many ways and, 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 so, and not that far removed from the experience that I think a lot of adults are having. Um, and in that way, I feel like okay, well, we can all just relate. It's not as, it's not as far away as I think it is, even though, you know, that's like 10 years ago for me now. Um, but I think that makes me feel much better about it because, because there's so much relatability with our youth today. I'm just astonished by them. Yeah, yeah but with that in mind, how important is it that films like this do treat sort of younger generations and kind of like sort of younger audiences like adults because this film doesn't pander to a kind of young teenage crowd it, it, it it's an intense it's an intelligent sort of complex movie isn't it I mean do you think it's really important that films like this are being made to and aren't kind of talking down to, to younger people but actually just speaking to them like adults because they are like adults yeah yeah I think it's it's the right time for that to happen um yeah like I said I mean I I they are adults in so many ways. They know so much and they're, they're like sponges and learning, especially with the internet and, and having, you know, every like outlet of um, education at their fingertips and they really want to learn and really want to explore the world around them. Um, I think it's, it's only fair <laughs> that mm -hmm. stories reflect their reality. And, and I hope that this is a story that reflects their reality, but I know that there will be more to come that will do that. And, and that excites me. And obviously, I mean, it's been such a big uh, year for you. I mean, well, in the UK, particularly because Waves came out in 2020 over in the UK, but two huge uh, um, films and great performances. But I've, I've, I wanted to speak to you quickly about directing, uh, because I, I know you sort of directed a short documentary. Um, I'm just wondering if you plan to do more of that and if you have kind of aspirations to make a feature length film one day. Um, yes. Uh, the documentary that I directed um, a year ago now um, was centered around women in lower income communities and them taking care of their families and what that looked like, having some of them with their children taken away and not having partners and just surviving. Um, and that, you know, the, the love of a mother expands beyond anything that we can really conceive. Um, it was a joy for me to be a part of a story like that because what I love also in acting is like really diving into a different world and learning as much as I can about it. Um, and in that sense, directing is, is um, shiny for me because you are kind of like a mother when you're directing, you have so much that you're taking care of all the time. You're an endless like well of yes and no's, you know, around you. Um, documentary work is probably um, something that interests me the most. I, I would love to to do a feature length documentary and that's definitely something that I, I want to explore in the future and um, yeah we'll see what happens. I'm, my eyes are open and peeled and ready to to do something so. 
Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today. And best of luck with whatever you do next. I just feel like you can do anything. So. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you for your time. Cool. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah.